So let's just go through here and cut through this shaded area to this grassy area over here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at those big boys. Jeez. Those are psilocybin cubensis all day. They're huge. Wow, they're such a beauty. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Jeez, man. So what you wanna look for is the gold tops here. That's why you'll still, you'll hear them sometimes with all kinds of names, you know, on the street and people, <laughs> they call them golden teacher or such, but some identification characteristics. You're gonna have that veil right there. And then they have purple spores. So these have started to release the spores and you can see them right around there. So let's continue to walk this way. It would be so cool to find some Penelius so that I could show you guys what they look like. So let's just go through here, kind of stay on the the grass line and the tree line where some shade is. I already see some more. They're right here. These are more psilocybin cubensis. There's a whole host of them. You can kind of see them through different stages. So right here's some. Gold tops. Now these are growing directly out of poo. And as they mature, sometimes the, the cap, um, it gets lighter because of the sun. And there's some little baby ones popping up right there. How cool. And you can see here. I'm just in this cow field. Now you want to have a field that's got active cows in it. If um, there hadn't been a lot of activity, it's just going to make it a lot harder for you. As you can see here, I'm just in a normal cow field. And if we take a look here, these are wild Penelius cyanescence. They, they are psychoactive. Um, what you would like to look for is a gilled mushroom. And these particular ones have a black spore print. Now what happens is, as you can see here with this specimen, as they're damaged or bruised, they start to turn blue. Um, right here we can see it. So that's what you wanna look for if you um, were looking for these for educational purposes, or if you just wanted to see if you could find them yourself in the wild. Being that these are psychoactive, I have to leave them here, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what they look like. They usually, um, if you find some in the field, you're going to be able to find much more. So I have a whole little cluster of pans right here. And then I have some more pans right here. Pans is just short for Penelia cyanescence. So once again, it's going to be a gilled mushroom. Um, and it's going to bruise blue once it's damaged or, um, or bruised. So black spore print. As you see here, there's the field, and it's sunny out there, so I came to where the shade is, and lo and behold, here are some Penelius mushrooms. Now, these bad boys are hot as a firecracker. I cannot take them with me. These are psychoactive, so they'll have to stay here. But they're naturally occurring. I mean, this is just a random farm that I stopped at. Asked the farmer if I could come out here and take a look around, and got permission always get permission don't disrespect people's land and go out there without asking first the only indicator so you can't just go off bru bru bruising alone uh, but this will have a jet black spore print bruised blue blue and be growing out of dung and so we got some other Penelius right here these are non-psychoactive and they're growing right beside each other so it's important to know and then when we step right over here there are some more Penelius Penelius cyanescence and then Going right beside it are another species of Penelius. Have that red stem there. Still probably has a black spore print. There's gonna be no blue, blue, blue bruising that occurs. A little tongue twister there. And you can see here that I'm out in the cow field um, with active cows. So I have permission to be out here. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys what you should be looking for. What's in my hand? Well, as you see, I'm in a cow field. And what this is, is Penelius anthurium. It is a gilled mushroom. It looks like it has black spores and it has this really all 
whiteness to the stem and to the caps here. Now growing right down here are Penelia cyanescens. And upon damage, these here, they would uh, turn blue. They have a black spore print and the stems, they're a little bit more like translucent. They're not as white here as the Penelius anthurium. And there are other Penelius out here, uh, but so far what I've came across today is this one and that one. This one right here is got the active compound in it, so I'll have to leave it here, but just for identification purposes, uh, that is what that Penelius looks like, Penelius cyanescens. And as they age, the look can vary, but this is them at one particular stage stage in comparison to Penelius anthurium, uh, typically all white mushroom, gilled. Both of them will grow out of dung. Hey everybody, out in the cow field and just located some cubensis. Um, there it is right there. And then there's a few more specimens growing right here. And you can see that they've released some of the spores. They have like this dark purple spore print. And they're a gilled mushroom, as you can see there. They have gills on them. Let's get a little better view of that. They got gills. And they're compost mushrooms. So typically in the wild, you're going to find them growing out of some type of manure. And this is a cow field that I'm in. Nonetheless, these are gold tops. And once they're damaged, they bruise blue. So blue bruising, purplish, dark, dark purplish. Spore print for these, guild, and that's pretty much it. Growing in the compost. What is in the grass? Well, in the grass are two different types of Penelia species. One that has an active compound in it, and the other one that's just Penelia anthurium, the one that I'm touching there. It's these all white mushrooms. They also grow in dung, and as you see, they can grow right alongside, which is Penelia cyanescens, um, a mushroom that is very famous for its active compound. Now for the Penelia cyanescens, they're a little bit more translucent on the stem. It's not as white here. And they both have black spore prints, but there's just some slight different differences in the pigmentation that is occurring and if I'm sure if you took uh, microscopic images of the spores there was there would be differences as well but from just the eye standpoint they're different colors and the Penelius here in my hand it doesn't bruise blue these right here one of the major indicators is once they've been picked up and damaged they're going to turn blue and there's another one right over here that's a bit bigger and as you can see the caps are a little bit more cloudy there um and these are just all white here so that's a good side by side comparison of the two species growing ah snap uh, in the same environment as you see there